So what's up everybody? It's your boy, Big Wop. Back with a different kind of video. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be replacing the uh, NVIDIA Shield battery. Um, this is one of my shields. This is the shield that I always game on. I have it modded out with tons of emulators, but I put a lot of gaming on here. And as you can see, it's getting real fat. That's the uh, battery that uh starting to explode and wouldn't take charge anymore so i would have to like <clears throat> you know basically be in one spot and uh plug it in and play but then that started to wear out as soon as you uh move or unplug it it just shuts off so i did the recall process and they did send me a new a new shield Absolutely free. This is brand new. I haven't even touched it yet. But what I'm gonna do is try to bring this one back to life by uh, swapping the uh, battery out that I, that I bought. I ordered offline. And as you can see here, I got my uh, tape. Scissors and my soldering kit that I bought. So get the soap in. So there's a couple of steps that I'm gonna have to do. And shout out to uh, Angel Angel Martinez. Yeah, he uh, shout out to him. Visit his page or whatever. Um, found a couple of tips from him I'm going to be using in this video so uh yeah let's start it start it now alright final first gotta take the uh pin out See the battery is really fat right here. As you can see, it's about to explode. <laughs> so um, I know this thing, this uh, this black tape around here is really tight on it, and you have to like pry it up. So you have to get something really thin and just uh, be real careful. I mean, I'm not really worried about too much, about it too much messing this uh, battery up or this, uh, this shield up, matter of fact, because. I got the uh, the other shield as a backup. Alright, so it's real sticky. You gotta be real careful with the wires. I'm not a pro at this, I'm a rookie. As you can hear and see, so just bear with me. I'm doing it right with you guys. So anybody that's trying to do this, if I mess up, this is all real footage. So you can learn from my mistake. Right, so right now, I'm just taking the rest of the sticky tape off. And I'm being careful as I do it so I don't. Mess up any wires. So, from what I understand, this is a board that's taped and mounted to this battery. 
and I'm going to have to be real careful and try to pry this tape off. And from what I understand and hear from everybody in the videos, it's really, really strong. So, I'm going to pause the video and try to do that. I don't want to waste time. I'll be right back. Okay, so, I got some of it off. As you can see here. <clears throat> this helped me out a lot. So you want to get you know one of these little tweezer things that comes with this uh this um little solder kit. I'll leave a description in the video of where I got this from, but this was really helpful. It has a lot of tools in here. <clears throat> and um yeah, so so far I got some of it off. This is the board back here, if you can see. Uh that you want to try to save. Alright, so I'm gonna finish peeling this thing off and I'll be right back. Wish me luck. Okay, so I got this strong <laughs> black tape off of it. And um peeling that off. It was really hard and you had to be really careful with these two thin wires right here because I almost tore it off. So um, you got to be real careful with that. You don't want these uh, two wires to uh, split off or break. So now my next um, thing I have to do is get this board off of this battery. Alright. So I'm not going to waste out time. I'm going to do it and come back. All right. Okay, I'm back again. So, what I'm trying to show you guys, uh, and I see a lot of people in their videos that they don't show you, <coughs> is this battery has two metal parts, and it looks like it's soldered to the board here. And you want to try to get these two off of this board without getting these wires this attack oh okay so that kind of came off and um yeah so I guess I could just kind of bend this oh boy So it's off. Alright, this is the battery. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you guys can see here, but. Sorry about my bad lighting. Um, I was actually asleep. And I got up in the middle and I couldn't sleep. So I said, you know what? Let me try to change this battery. I had the battery here for over two, three months. And I said, you know what? When I get around to it, I'll do it. So it's kind of late. And I just said, you know what? Let me. Uh... So you want to get these off of here, these two metal. Parts, and you want to expose, I believe, these two metal parts <clears throat> because we're going to be uh, soldering the um, the positive and the negative to these two boards here. Once I figure out which one is the positive and the negative, um, we're going to solder these two there so that we can get power for the battery to this shield. Alright? So I'll be back while I figure this shit out. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm back. And I don't know if you can see, but as I, I tore the uh, 
this metal off and I don't know if you can see but it says on the board itself be positive I mean be negative it's right there be negative so which means that's the uh, negative and this over here is the positive <clears throat> so I'm going to continue to pry this metal off okay to clean it off so I can get a good solder on it so I'm going to take these I'm trying to be careful so I don't break this board so I'm being real careful here imagine I break it right in front of you guys the comments would be crazy like you big strong fucking football athlete trying to do nerd shit anyway so, alright, so we know my uh, negative is on this side and positive is on this side. So now I'm going to um, plug up my solder. And this is a cool kit and it was really cheap, man. You know, I'm going to set everything up right now. Plug this up. Like I said, man, you get a lot of things in there. Here's your soldering iron. I guess this is the... Uh, the lead or whatever. Let me set all this up and come back. Okay, so I'm back. My solder iron is heating up. It's almost ready. Um, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, I pulled the website up. I got it from Amazon. Like I said, I put the link in the description. You know, um, it's $17 now, but when I got it, it was like $14, so I guess the price went up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. You get a whole lot of stuff for the buck. But, anyway, back to the video. So, uh, yeah, where was I? So now I'm going to, uh, solder these positive and a negative into this. Alright. Put this here so I don't make a mess on my desk. And uh this is the side again. You can uh, adjust the temperature or whatever. This is the uh, the lead, I guess. Yeah, the lead. Maybe then, um, nope. These two tips to the, to the board here. All right, so. I'm almost sure that. The red is the uh, positive, the black is the negative. Cause the way they got this set up, look, see? This tape is on it, so. Over here to the right is positive. It's negative over here, but I don't know. I'm almost sure red is uh, means positive. Even on your car battery, red is positive, so. I don't think they would, uh, Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> now, you know what? Nah, fuck that. I want to be sure. I'll be back. So I'm going to take these uh, tweezers in. Pry this tape off. I can see what's what.
And yes, okay, this is positive, this is negative. All right, so we're good to go. Hey, better safe than sorry, right? So, gotta be real careful here. I don't have a steady hand. Oh shit. Okay. That's on that one. Now let's get the positive. You gotta have real patience to do this shit. I'm talking about some serious real patience. All right, uh, I gotta line this up. It looked like my uh, my negative is on pretty good. You need, you need, you need, like, <laughs> I gotta get this, I gotta get this to stay. Gotta use your brain, man. Good old black tape. I mean, I was like, duh. He was screaming that at the computer, dummy. Tape here so it don't move. Up. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Looked like an operation was a success. This neat. Put some. Um, I have here some. Where is it? Hello, where you go? There you go. I got some uh, double-sided tape. I'm gonna place it on the back of here. Put my new battery here. And then we're gonna test it. All right. So let's see if it works. Be back. All right. So I got <clears throat> one piece of. Uh, 
double shot of tape. And just to show you for people who don't know about double shot of tape, trust me, there's people out there that I don't know. This side is sticky. The back side is sticky as well. So you take this off. And this thing is really sticky. And you just place it wherever you want it to go. And oops. voila. So now I have a bed, a sticky bed, waiting for my battery. And I don't know if I should go this way. Let me go this way. Gonna, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to place this like this. What I'm going to try to do is give some room up top. I think that should be good. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is try to get these wide. I'm going to try to line this board up in here like so. Okay. So that, um, and all that wire, that black um, wire, I mean wire black tape that I was taking off earlier that was securing all these wires and shit so I'm gonna do that and be back again okay so I taped some of it down I'm gonna continue to keep taping to make it secure it may not be the prettiest thing but who cares because it's gonna be the inside but I just want to make sure that everything is nice and secure Tape the uh, the um, the board up here on top. This is where the board is. Just to cover that board up. Excuse me if I'm breathing hard, my allergies. <sighs> it's killing me. But, um, yep, so this is basically it. And the ultimate test is now we're going to see if it cuts on or not. Which I, which I think I should have tested before I start taping, huh? But whatever. I think I got faith in and uh, the work that we've done. What do you guys think, huh? Let's just keep our fingers crossed. But, uh, all right, that looks kind of secure. What do you think? Yeah. All right, man. So let's cut it on.
Okay. There you have it, yo. So. So let's see if it power up, though. That's the. That's the main. Uh, why is this? Uh, I'll clean it off later. This uh, having booted this uh, the shield up in like almost a year. If it, it might have been a year, so maybe I don't know. Maybe it's taking a while to boot up, but we have power. We have power. It's not plugged up. I wasn't even getting this. Okay. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's starting up from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna let this boot up because we're gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna come back with it. All right, so um, as you can see, the time it was um, reloading and loading everything up, the whole Android system and all that, because I haven't been, you know, haven't turned this thing on in a year. I took the time to clean off my desk because I hate a dirty area. But as you can see here, so uh, the battery is low though, 42%, but that's how it came in the box. Um, it looked like everything is up and running. So I'm going to put the, uh, the back on. some adjustments yeah definitely gonna have to make some adjustments hold on I'll be back again all right so <clears throat> had to make some adjustments because um it wasn't snapping in and it was a little bit bulky up here so what I did was um where that board was at that was my problem so I had to move it up just a little bit and uh yeah get it going and I'll be taped it down and now it's sealed and closed as you can see. Alright, so now we test uh like I showed you battery level. So now let's see if um the ultimate test see if it'll take charge. So let's plug it in. First let me show you. That's the battery life. And I'm gonna plug it in. The yellow light is it's on. And it is charging. Cool. <clears throat> so this is the old battery. Um if you're gonna do this and you take your old battery out, do not throw this away with that board connected to here because that's that's the most important part of the brain of the battery to charge it and whatever so um another test I'm gonna see I have this PS4 controller it's not the prettiest thing but this is the holster that I got and um, it'll hold my um, NVIDIA shield in here. I'll just snap them on. Show you guys. Okay. Oh, 
<clears throat> Turn the PS4 control on. And as you can see, I can navigate to my games. These are all my games that I have on here. My emulators. I haven't played these in so long. Uh, so now I'll be back playing um, my emulators. I'm playing this uh, recast. Um, Sega Saturn emulators. Slow one up and show you. Dragon Saga. I say Guardian Heroes. I am still working on this joint. Do I have this shit upside down? I got the. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so um, now I can get back playing, like, because you can even stream PC games on this at Shield, and uh, even your Xbox One, you can uh, stream games from your uh, Xbox, so that's why I miss my Shield, man, I miss playing games on my Shield, and uh, yeah, so uh, now I can test out all the games that I wanted to, uh, like PUBG, you know, you can play PUBG on here. From your PC now that I got controller support, and uh, even your Xbox One you can, uh, can do that or play, you know, good old emulator games. <clears throat> um, yeah, I like to uh, want to try out uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters. I haven't done that yet. I mean, I know Dragon Ball Z Fighters is coming out for the, um, the uh, Nintendo Switch, but I would like to try it out on the shop too. So, yeah, so that's, that's that, man. We back up and rolling, man. If you uh, if you have Nvidia Shield, I suggest that you uh, do the battery test and see if you can apply for the free shield that they give you and replace. And don't throw away your uh, your old shield. You know, like I did. I got a brand new shield over there that I might, I don't know, just sell or something. Or just keep it there and uh, I bring this one back to life. For what? Measly, maybe pay like twenty dollars. Paid for the uh, solder kit. Okay, and the battery was about seven dollars. And uh, this thing is running slow. I guess I got to do an update or something because uh, I haven't uh, updated this emulator in so long. It's usually it's usually going faster than this. But yeah, so that's it. Sorry for the video being so long. I was trying to cut some of it so the video wouldn't be no half an hour, hour long, but you know, it is what it is. But thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you can. Um, hit the like button or whatever. And yeah, that's it.